All right, so it is four to zero. And are, are we ready to start the game? Yes. yes. Very good. Well, Keeping we your... just did. We just started. Oh, but this was the easy part. Now comes the real game. Then you can erase the scores then. Oh, no, because you guys need the extra points. <laughs> because I'm so good at this. Okay? So here we go. Are you ready to start? Yeah. Okay, first direction. My hand is in the air. No one's talking. I need you to clean off your work area completely. Please. Scratch paper somewhere in the room. You, you know what scratch paper is? Could you um, hand me a bunch, please, dear? Look at how good she is at following directions. There, she was all about being helpful. Yep, you have to clean everything off your desktop. I need. Oh, good. Thank you for following directions. I appreciate that. Now, do you have some? Oh. We're going to just grab a bunch here. Thank you. Okay. Now, there. Oh, you go ahead and keep that piece of paper, dear. Okay, so everybody has their desktop cleaned off. Wow, you guys are getting pretty good at this game. Okay, so I need you to have one thing in on your desktop. I'm going to give you a piece of paper, and you need something to write with. It can be a pen or a pencil. I don't care. How do you guys ever figure out how to walk around in this room? If you already have one, then you sit patiently. Me, my there thank you. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> all right. Yep, they just need a paper and a pencil. Everybody, oh, we got one right th way back there that needs a piece yet. I don't know. What about the teacher? Wow, we better get her so she can play the game, huh? All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to talk about our spelling words, okay? You guys remember those spelling words? Yeah. If I can find my list. All right. The focus of your spelling in this list was some silent letters, okay? So we talked about, you've talked about, or you've seen K. And whoops. G N W R and G H. Right? You guys are thumbs up, you've seen them? Familiar with them? Good, good. So and you guys have taken a pretest already? Yep. Yeah. yeah? So you feel pretty confident with the words? Yeah. Do you? Very much? Good. Not very much? Well, then I have I got a deal for you today. I'm going to teach you a way to study your spelling words that you will be able to get A's on your spelling tests. Because that was hard for me. When I was a kid, I never got A's on my spelling test. I would always get five or six wrong, and then my teacher would make me write it five times. And then I'd have to put it in the sentence, and then my mom would make me study, and it was not fun. But when I was a little bit old, when I was 29, so how old do you think I am? Think about that, because if you win, I'll tell you. How many years has it been? A long time. <laughs> so when I was 29, 
I had a professor in college teach me um, how to use the sounds in the word to spell the words correctly. So that's what I'm going to help you with today, okay? Am I 21? Well, if I was 29 when I was in college, am I 21 now? No. I'd like to be. <laughs> okay. So the first thing we're going to do is I want you to put your pencils down. Okay. Oh, I hear some talking and look at that. A bang. Oh, and I heard an oh no because we weren't supposed to talk while we were, while Mrs. Van gets points. See how easy this is? Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to listen for the individual sounds in the word. So we're not going to pick up our pencil and try and spell it right away. We're going to listen for the sounds in the word. So the first word is going to be gnat. Don't write it down. I want everybody to put your hand right up here, right in front of you. So you can see it, and we're going to talk about, we're going to say it slowly so we can hear all the sounds in the words. So we're going to go, n at how many sounds? Three. Three. Three sounds. So now I want you to pick up your pencil, okay? Pick up your pencil and put three lines on your paper. Okay. All right. So we know we have to have three sounds in this word, right? Now, in order to do that, we need to figure out what letters make those sounds. Okay. So let's think about this for a minute. The first sound is what, everybody? We're not la we're not asking because I heard somebody say N over here. We're I'm not asking for what letter. I'm asking for the sound. So when we go N at, we're listening for that N sound. That's our first sound. Now on your paper, I want you to put down as many ways as you can think of that makes that N sound. Okay, so think for a moment. There are a couple ways you can make that n sound. And you put them right here in this blank number one on your paper, okay? So everybody should have their pencil in their hand. And you should have written something. And now I want you, this is the second part that's tough, is we're going to do a lot of shoulder partner stuff here today. Okay, meaning the person right next to you, you're going to have to talk to. Now, when I have you do that, this is what I want it to look like. Okay, I'm going to be here. I'm his shoulder partner. I'm going to look at him. I'm going to lean in and I'm going to listen to him. Okay, so I'm going to look, I'm going to lean and I'm going to listen. All right. So show me right now what that's going to look like when you're doing to your shoulder partner. So turn to your shoulder partner. Okay. Look at them. Lean in. And chat. You want to go right here? Here, you can go right over here. Your shoulder partner is going to be right back there. Okay. It's all right. Jake, you're going to go right here. Okay? Look, lean, and listen. All right. I wasn't really paying attention, so, okay, everybody try it again. Look at, go and talk to your shoulder partner momentarily. Okay. Oh, you know what? That brings, boys and girls, right up here. That brings up a very good example. When I sat over here and I looked and I leaned, and I listened. Did I fall off my chair? No. Did I make a lot of noise to distract my partners? No. That's exactly how it needs to look when you do it. Okay, so let's try that again. Everybody, look, lean, and listen. Very good. Very good. You guys see that? 
that very well. Okay? He's creeping you out. <laughs> well, normally you'll have something to talk about, so you don't have to worry about being creeped out. Okay, but let's practice that because when you are chatting with your, your partner, we have to be sure it's quiet. Now, I kind of have a loud voice, so I'm sure I'm disrupting the classes over there, but we want to be sure that everything stays quiet here. Now, to practice that, I'm going to give you a question. All right? The question is, what are you going to do after school today? Oh, no, I don't want to know right now. I'm going to have you turn to your partner and talk about what you're going to do after school today. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. The directions aren't done yet. Now, two things are going to happen. I'm going to be singing a song while you're doing this. So you have to talk quiet enough so you can tell me what the name of that song is. Okay? So that's going to be one part of the question. The second part of the question will be what your friend is doing after school. So to answer that question, when I'm over here and I, I ask you, what is your friend doing after school? I don't want to know what you're doing after school. You have to tell me what your friend said. Okay? So two things are happening. You have to be able to tell me what your friend said, and you have to be able to tell me what song I was singing. Are you ready to try? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Go to your shoulder partner, look, lean, and listen. Talk about what you're going to do after school today. Okay? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. All right, let's come back together as a group. You don't need to raise your hand because I call, I call on anybody and everybody because you know what? When we do this, you have a partner to talk to, which means if you didn't know the answer, you can ask your partner the answer so you'll have it, right? No matter what, you'll always know the answer. So no need to raise your hand. I know, but I'm not going to ask you. You gotta wait. Okay, so I would like to know what your, your shoulder partner is doing after school today. He said if there's still snow, he's gonna play in it. Oh, is that what you said? That sounds like fun, playing on snow. We have snow in South Dakota. We have about six inches. Okay, oh, gotta be quiet while we're discussing. Okay. All right, so the second question that we need to answer is... I'm going to give you a point for that because you did a great job. Thank you very much. The second part of the question is what song I was singing. Now, right back here, the lady with the pink around her neck right there, can you tell me what song I was singing? The ABCs. That's exactly right. What? You could hear me? That's the point because you guys were talking quietly enough that you could hear me sing. Please, some people tell me that you can still hear me? That's the point. Because we still have to talk so we can get the message. So good job. Let's try that one more time just to make sure the volume doesn't happen out of control. Okay? So you are going to look, lean, and listen to your partner. And you're going to talk about what you want for Christmas. But remember, when I ask you, I want to know what your partner said. And you have to be able to hear the song I'm singing. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. What do you want for Christmas? Who let the dogs out? Woof, 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 woof. Who let the dogs out? All right. Come on back together. Are you ready? How about right here? What did your partner partner want for Christmas? Slippers. Slippers. 
Is that what you said you wanted for Christmas? Oh, that's a very good gift. Slippers. All right, good job. He gets a point for paying attention and following directions. Very good work for your team, young man. Now, secondly, who knows what song I was singing? Who let, the dogs out? who let the dogs out? One of my son's favorite songs. Excellent job. All right. Now are we ready to get back to the spelling? Now we know how to do the partner with look, lean, and listen. Okay. Now remember our three sound. The three sounds in our words. The word was n a t. Okay. Now I want you to. I know you know how to spell it, but we're going to work on other words we don't know in just a minute, okay? So what I want you to do is with your shoulder partner, I want you to look, lean, and listen, and come up with the two ways. There are two ways you can make the n mm sound. Okay, talk about it with your partner. Two ways. together and right here what two ways did you and your partner come up to make the n sound k n n n oh good job k n and the n they both make the n sound there's one more. Raise your hand if you can tell me one other way to spell the n sound. G N. No, there's one more. Oh, is there another one? Whew. It's K N. K N. We have K N right up here. Okay, that's all right. Good thinking, though. That's what we want to do because there are more than one way to make the sounds in the English language. Okay. W N. Not at the beginning of a word, but you're right. It would make. Well, no, because it's an O double. Okay. We're going to go with these three, okay, guys? I want you to put these three on your paper, okay? Put it just like this, because these are our three options. And once we have all our options, then we're going to pick which is the right way to spell it, okay? I know which one. I know you do, okay? Okay, but boys and girls, your direction right now is to have your paper look exactly like my board is. I'm going to come around. Now, here's the kicker, guys. You shouldn't have the rest of this filled in yet. You shouldn't have the other sounds filled in. I want it to look exactly like this. This is worth the point. If you want a point, you better get it going. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. So we have some options to make that n mm sound. All right. Now our sex, our next sound was n. Mm Ah, so what, what letters can we use to make the ah sound? Look with your shoulder partner. I don't want to know. Talk to your shoulder partner. Okay. Let's come back together as a group up here, guys. There's really only one way to make that ass sound, and it is with the letter A. A. Very good. No E. No E makes the S sound. Okay, there's a couple times that it might work in with another letter, but for right now, we're doing single letters. Okay? So we have N, N, A. Now our last sound is T. Turn to your shoulder partner and talk about the letters that you can use to make the t sound. Turn to your partner. I don't want to know. There are two options, actually. Think 
card. What's one way to make the t sound? A T. A T is definitely a good way to make the t sound. There's another way. There's another way. Um, two T's. Two T's. Exactly. Oh, there's another way. And what way is that? It's um E D. E D. You are right. Oh my gosh. So we have some options. This is why spelling is very important. And this is why it's hard because there's more, there's, <laughs> there's more than one way to make these sounds. But now, since you guys have told me this already, and you know how to spell this, um, right over here with the red pants on. Can you tell me how to spell Nat? G-N-A-T. G-N-A-T. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And is that the correct way? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so I want you on the same line to put the word over here, okay? So here's where we figure out all the different ways we can spell it, and over here is where we put the correct one, okay? So I want to see that on your paper. I want it to look exactly like what I have on the board. Make sure that's an N that kind of looks like an H there. Good job. Perfect. And you guys did a great job with that. Everybody followed the directions. I'm so proud of you all. Okay? All right. You ready? I just gave you a point. You're still ahead? Here, so here comes the next word. So put your pencils down because we don't put anything on our paper until we know the sounds. Pencils down. Pencils down. All right, here we go. The word is um, new. I knew it was going to snow. The word is new. Let's do the sounds. Fingers. Oh, pencils down, you guys. Bob Bing. Okay. Okay, so put your hand up here. Let's do the sounds in the word new. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. How many sounds? Two. All right, so now you can pick up your pencil. And we have two blanks we have to fill this time. Wow, only two sounds. And I know there are more letters than two in this word, huh? Okay, so turn to your table partner or your shoulder partner and talk about all the ways to make that first mm sound. Okay, quietly talk to your partner. Use the board if you need to. Let's come back as a group right here. What ways did you come up with? Name all the ways you came up with. K -N, -N. K N G N N N. Very nice. Make it look like it's up here, boys and girls. Make it look like that. Good job. We have some choices here. Now comes the hard one. Turn to your shoulder partner and come up with the different 
different ways to make the ooh sound with your shoulder partner. There are a few here. to make the ooh sound. Just one. Way in the back, huh? Um, oh, you could make the ooh sound. It's very, very, very rare. What's another more common way? Um, sometimes, is there an E-O? Not E-O. Actually, this is probably something that you haven't seen before. This is called the sound spelling card. And this U is the U sound, how to make the long U sound. And these are the three ways that we can do that. So the double O can make the U sound like in moon. Okay? E-W. E-W. I was going to say that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my hand's up in the air. It's quiet now. You're following along, so pick up your pencil and follow along. Or we could have the U with a consonant and an E. So we have some choices we have to make based on our card here. It's not going to stay there. Okay, I'm going to put that one up there, okay? But let's, let's actually look at the card. I need your eyes up here, so put your pencils down, ladies and gentlemen. That's a direction. Thank you. Okay? Now, when I look here, if I have the ooh sound with the double O, like moon and shoe, okay, that can be uh, in the middle of the word. Okay? Or at the end, like in the word boo. So it could be moon, M-O-O-N, or boo, like I'm scaring somebody, boo. Okay? Now, here I got my E-W, and this little line here is telling me the E-W is at the end of a word. The oo sound at the end of the word is frequently the E-W sound. You can also make the oo sound with the U consonant E, like cute, 